creepy things creepy happen, things happen before, before, the grave. before the grave. Good night, everyone. Time travel is not possible. I wouldn't label myself a crazy conspiracy theorist or anything, but I do have my own set of beliefs and theories about some of the odd or unexplainable things in the world, and I would like to share some of them with you on this channel. The first is my thoughts on time travel. Now I know there are going to be so many people who disagree with me, but please watch this video until the end and understand my point of view and how I came up with this theory. I used to believe in time travel wholeheartedly. It wasn't until about five, 10 years ago that I realized it's not possible, at least scientifically. Roads, where we're going, we don't need roads. As a kid, I watched all of the Back to the Future movies. I love them. Most people believe that time travel can be achieved if only someone could invent a machine that could transport you anywhere, any point in time. Years later, I watched the movie The Time Machine, which is based on the book by H.G. Wells. In that film, a scientist did build a machine for time travel. However, the machine never moved from the spot where it was built. It was time that moved around it while the scientist was inside. For some reason, this struck a chord with me, but then also made a lot of sense. Yes, I do realize I'm basing a lot of my theory off of films, but please hear me out. You can't fly around from ancient Greece to the American Civil War. The only way it would work is if you could manipulate the time, manipulate the time around you wherever you're physically present. For a while, I went with this time travel theory, believing it was possible. Later on in high school, I read the book Slaughterhouse-Five by Kurt Vonnegut. Great book, by the way. I highly suggest you read it if you have not. Without giving away the entire plot, the book presents another theory that time or time travel is not linear. You cannot go backwards and forwards through time, but in fact, time itself is like a circle. The book also said to me that time travel is only possible on an individual basis through one's mind. Think x-men's future past that when and if conquered you can jump through your own conscious to different periods of time but only in your own life cycle this is where i begin to think well if you can only travel the timeline of your own life cycle then perhaps that is the only real way time travel is possible but then a new question arose if you only travel through your own conscious, then you can't really go back and see yourself as a child. The final nail in the coffin, pun intended, for my disbelief in time travel came after I watched the movie The Langoliers, which also is a book by Stephen King. A group of people are sent back in time only about a day or so to find that they are the only ones there. They try to eat the food, but it has no flavor, no sustenance. Okay. Matches won't light, fire won't burn. The past begins to fall apart. Why? Because it doesn't exist anymore. There are no people because they don't exist in the past. They are in the present. Every second that goes by is gone forever. Think about it. For you to be able to go back in time and witness the pyramids being built would mean that every millisecond there's a copy of every living thing being generated. You can't go back and see your seventh birthday because you don't exist there anymore. The moment, that day, doesn't exist anymore. Sure, relics from the past are still around, like photographs or old toys, but just like the pyramids, they are slowly decaying. The mountains that you see today are not the same mountains that our ancestors saw. If the past doesn't exist, then by the same logic, neither does the future. The second, the minute that comes after this one, doesn't exist. We believe it will come and believe it will happen, but until it does, we cannot travel forward to see it. We don't know what man will build or create because they haven't done it yet. I believe time travel is not possible scientifically. The evidence people supposedly have of time travelers could be just glitches, things we were perhaps not supposed to see, but did somehow. Now I say scientifically time travel is not possible, but I will not discount the supernatural, possibilities that defy all known logic and reason.